Wave your hands if you can hear me. That's right, wave your hands above your head if you're ready to go story hunting. And touch your head. That's right, touch the top of your head with both your hands and scratch your armpits. Scratch your armpits like you're a cheeky monkey. Okay, let's try something tricky now. Uh, pat your head and rub your tummy. Well done. It's not easy, is it? Pat your head and rub your tummy. Okay. Happy face. Sad face. Happy face. Sad face. Angry face. Silly face. Hello and welcome to our story hunt today. A story hunt is a cross between a scavenger hunt and a traditional storytelling session. We are going to play a game. I am going to give you 10 seconds to find an object. That object might be big or small. It might be weird or wonderful, but it's got to be red. You have got 10 seconds. Go and find something red. Off you go. 10, nine, Eight. It could be anything you like, this object. It could be food, it could be a toy, it could be a piece of clothing, a cushion or a pillow, but it's got to be red. Bring it back to the screen in seven, six, five, if you found something red, four, bring it back to the screen in three, two, one, and come back to the screen now. Well done. Okay, let's play again. This time, I want you to find something yellow. That's right, you've got 10 seconds. Go and find something yellow. 10, nine, you've got the idea now, haven't you? Quick as you can. Eight, seven, six. Go and find something yellow and bring it back to the screen in four, three, two, and coming back to the screen now. Well done. Okay, so first time we found something red, second time we found something yellow. Final time, I'd like you to look for something green. That's right, bring something green back to the screen. Off you go. 10, nine, eight, Seven, quick as you can. Six, five, find that green object and bring it back in four, three, two, one, and coming back to the screen now. Well done. Parents, carers, people in charge, thank you for switching on our video today. If your story hunter is enjoying building up their story stash, why not send us a picture? You can send that picture to your library along with any feedback that you might have on today's video. If you want to find out more about the events and activities happening in your local library, visit their website or follow them on social media. Thank you for your support. Right, let's get story hunting. Stand up on the spot where you are. Whether you're in your kitchen, your living room, your dining room, your bedroom or your bathroom. If you're on the toilet, this could be tricky, but do have a go. Stand up on the spot where you are. And after three, march with me. Here goes. One, two, three. Cha, cha, cha. Are you marching? Cha, 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 cha. We're going on a story hunt. We're going to the library. We're super excited. But what will the story be? Can you do that with me? Of course you can. Wherever you're watching this today, stand up on the spot where you are ready to march and do the actions after three. Let's go. One, two, three. Cha, 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 
We're going on a story hunt. We're going to the library. We're super excited. But what will the story be? Well, today, for our story hunt, we are going to have a picnic. You have got ten seconds. Go and find things you might need for a picnic. So, picnic blankets or picnic rugs, picnic food, and of course, toys to play with once the picnic's finished. You've got ten seconds. Go and find picnic goodies now. Ten. I'm going to wear a sun hat because it's always sunny on a picnic. Nine. I've got a frisbee too, so we can play with it afterwards. Eight. I've got some food, I've got some crisps, and I've got my lunch box. Both useful. Seven. Six. What have you found so far? Five. Four. Coming back to the screen with your picnic goodies in three, two... One, and come back to the screen. Well done. So as I say, I've got my sun hat on because it's always sunny when you have a picnic. I found some crisps to eat and a lunchbox to carry them in. But you know what else I need? You've got ten seconds to find a bag to carry all our picnic goodies on our story hunt in. It could be a carrier bag, a rucksack, a paper bag, a plastic bag. Go and find a bag. Off you go. Ten. I've got a rucksack. Nine. And because I've got a bit of time, I'm going to load my rucksack. Eight. Seven. Six. And once I've loaded my rucksack, I'm going to put it on my back. Once you've found your bag, make sure you put it on your back or hold it in your hand. Five, four, coming back to the screen with your bag, make sure you're holding it or you've got it on your back in two, one, and come back to the screen. Right, we've got our picnic goodies, we put them in our bags and we're ready to go. Put your hand on the door handle. That's right, pretend to put your hand on the door handle. And after three, let's go. One, two, three, out the door. Eep, bang, run for the bus. Wait for me, onto the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Off the bus, bye, up the library steps. Cha, 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 cha. Can you do that with me? Of course you can. Are you ready? After three, put your hand on the door handle. Here goes. One, two, three, out the door. Eep, bang, run for the bus. Wait for me, onto the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Off the bus, bye. Up the library steps. Chuck, 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 chuck. Now, put one hand on the door handle. Put the other hand on the door handle. And after three, we'll pull. One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. One, two, three. Ooh, where are we? This is like no library I have ever been in before. Where are the books? Where are the computers? Let's take a closer look. Now, hold up your hands and wiggle your fingers in front of you. That's right, wiggle your fingers in front of you. Now turn your hands into two big circles and push them together as if you're holding binoculars as we look up and down and one way and the other. Did you get that? Do you think you could do it with me? Of course you can. So hold up your hands in front of you and wiggle your fingers. That's right, wiggle your fingers. 
Now turn your hands into two big circles and push them together to make binoculars as we look up and down, one way and the other. We are in the countryside. And although the countryside might seem peaceful and quiet, it's teeming with wildlife, from tiny insects, birds and mice, to larger animals like hedgehogs, foxes and badgers. But how can a story hunter be a wildlife hero in the British countryside? You'd have to be very clever and very brave to find out. If you think that you're clever enough for our story hunt today, scratch your chin and have an idea. That's right, scratch your chin and have an idea. If you think you're brave enough for our story hunt today, flex your muscles like this, flex your muscles like this, and flex your muscles like this. So if you think that you're clever enough for our story hunt, have an idea. And if you think you're brave enough for our story hunt, flex your muscles like this. And if you are ready to go on a story hunt, on the count of three, I want you to wave your hands above your head and shout yay so loudly, Everybody knows we're story hunting. Are you ready? One, two, three, yay! Well, in that case, I think we should go this way. Ready? Standing up on the spot where you are, ready to march again. Let's go. Cha, cha, cha. Are you coming? Cha, cha, cha. With me? Cha, cha, cha. Oh, it's hot work. Keep walking, but wipe the sweat from your brow. Oh, it's getting hot now. Wipe the sweat from your brow. Oh, you won't believe this. The sun's gone behind a cloud and it looks like it might rain. I think we should speed up. Cha, 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 cha. And cover our heads. Cha, 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 cha. We don't want to get wet. Cha, 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 cha. The rain has stopped, but boy, the wind is so strong. Holding your hands up to protect your face, it might blow you over. Keep walking though. Oh, it's so strong. Keep walking though. The wind's dropped, but it looks like it could snow. Four seasons in one day. It could only happen in the British countryside. Wrap your arms around you to keep warm as the snowflakes fall. Keep moving. But look, the sun has come out. We've got blue skies and gorgeous green fields surrounded by hedges and trees. This would be the perfect place for a picnic. Do you know what? All of that walking has made me hungry and it's reminded me of a story all about a hungry young creature which I am going to tell you now. So wherever you're watching today sit down in the chair, cushion or pillow where you've been watching from so far or perhaps if you've got a picnic rug or blanket why not lay that out and tuck in to some of your picnic food. Once upon a time, there was a young fox cub and he lived in his fox den with his fox mother. Every day the young fox cub would climb over the hill and down to the farm, past the cows, Mmm, and the horses in to the hen house where he would try to catch the little red hen. The young fox cub would go snap, snap, snap. Can you do that with me? 
Of course you can. So wherever you're sitting, show me your fox jaws as we go. Snap, snap, snap. But the little red hen was far too clever for that. She would fly up, up, up into the beams and rafters of the hen house, out of reach of the sly young fox. One morning, the young fox cub left his fox den, but before he did, he called to his mother. Put a pot of water on the fire to boil. I'll be back with the little red hen before lunch. And off he went, over the hill, down toward the farm, past the cows, Mmm, and the horses, Nay! in to the hen house, where he tried to catch the little red hen. Are you ready to try and catch her again? Show me your fox jaws as we go. Snap, snap, snap. But of course, the little red hen was far too clever, and she flew up, 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 into the beams and rafters of that hen house, out of reach of the fox. But he'd been expecting that. And as she sat high up on a beam, the young fox cub smiled a sly grin. Can you give me a sly grin? A smile that goes right the way around your face. Maybe you could smile at a camera and someone could take a photo and send it to the library of you enjoying this story. The young fox cub began to chase his tail. He went round and round and round, going quicker and quicker and quicker. Stand up on the spot where you are. Wherever you're watching our video today, stand up on the spot where you are and get ready to chase your tail. You go round and round and round, going quicker and quicker and quicker. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now, how did that make you feel? A little bit dizzy? Well, imagine being that little red hen. Sit down, sit down. As the fox cub went round and round and round, the little red hen watched him go quicker and quicker and quicker, and she began to feel very dizzy indeed. And before she knew it, she was falling down, 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 thump, into the floor of the hen house, where the fox cub tucked her into a sack, heaved the sack over his shoulder, and carried her out of the hen house, off the farm, and back towards his fox den for lunch. Now, it wasn't just the little red hen who felt dizzy. The young fox cub was feeling quite dizzy too. And I'll let you know, it's not that easy to carry a little red hen in a sack on your back. So when the fox cub reached the top of the hill, he decided to take a break. He sat down at the foot of the tree and before you know it, Ooh. He had fallen asleep. Can you fall asleep with me? Of course you can. You ready? So big yawn. Ooh. And show me your pillows. Put two hands together and snore. Well done. Thank you for joining in. The inside the sack, the little red hen heard the snoring and began to wriggle and push and wriggle and push her way out of the sack. Can you wriggle and push with me? So let's see you wriggle and push and wriggle and push and wriggle and push your way out of the sack. Well done. 
and once she was out of the sack, she looked at the sleeping fox, and it was the little red hen's turn to smile, a crafty, sly smile. As quickly as possible, she collected three very large, very smooth stones and stuffed them into the fox's sack. And whilst he slept, she crept down past the cows, down past the horses, back to the safety of her hen house. Now, when the fox cub awoke, he picked up the sack. It seemed heavier than it had before, but he did not think to look inside, where he would have found three very round, very smooth stones. Oh no. Instead, he carried on home. And when that young fox cub reached his fox den, his fox mother said, Put the little red hen straight into the pot, my dear. And without thinking to look, the young fox cub dropped the three very round, very smooth stones into the pot with a splash. How did they go into the pot? That's right, they went in with a splash. And as the stones went in, the water came out and the two foxes went, oh! What noise did they make as their bottoms got burned in the boiling water? Can you do it with me? Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. And from that day on, my friends, that sly young fox decided to leave that little red hen well enough alone. Give yourself a big pat on the back and take a round of applause. Thank you for joining in the actions of our story. It's almost time for us to leave the countryside because our picnic is over. But do you know what? Story hunters can be wildlife heroes by taking their rubbish and their litter home from the countryside and putting it in a bin so that the home of tiny insects, birds and mice, foxes, hedgehogs and badgers aren't spoiled by our fun. Once again, you've proved yourselves very clever, very brave story hunters. And I look forward to welcoming you to another story hunt very soon. That's the end of our story hunt today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've taken any photographs or have any feedback on this video, please send it to your library. You can find out more about events and activities happening in your local library by visiting their website or following them on social media. I look forward to you joining me for another story hunt very soon. Bye bye!